Um, what are you doing with your stock portfolio? Then, instead of just getting the ideological blinkers on or the partisan blinkers on, people are having to assess things a little bit more rigorously. So we might look into people's actions in stock markets rather than what they're saying in surveys. So partisan splits are quite the phenomenon in surveys like this. Now, a couple of interesting findings here for, in this Roy Morgan survey. Uh, women uh, in New Zealand are more optimistic than men, with 58% of women expecting a better 2018 than 17 compared to 48% of men. So a fair, a fair difference there. What's likely to be behind this? Well, it was harder to say without having more recent survey data. So there was uh, a survey in 2009 and then um, this year's. We don't know what it looked like last year or the year before. Without having uh, the last few years on it, I can't really tell whether women in New Zealand are just more optimistic in general. But my guess on it would be that what we're there seeing is just a reflection of the gender split in support for labor and national. That if women were more likely to have voted for labor, they're more likely to now have their preferred party in charge, and so that would be reflected in greater optimism. Now, the really interesting finding here for me is the extraordinary comparison with Australia. So, uh, just 31% of uh, Aussies think next year will be an improvement on this one, uh, which is very down from, Australia, from New Zealand. Um, why is such a difference? Why are the Australians so worried compared to us? Well, the that's a, another bit of a tough one to, to answer, but it'll get into some of the problems in these kinds of surveys we can get to in a minute. But if we look across the TAS and uh, economic performance, everything's kind of okay. They this year broke for a record for the longest period without a recession. So they've gone 103 quarters without a recession. New Zealand hasn't done that. So they're doing well on that front. But household income growth there has not been very strong, at least since the great financial crisis. So their median real household disposable income dropped by almost 2% from 2013-14 to 2015-16, and here it's been rising by about 3% per year. The unemployment rate there is higher, so 5.5%. It's been on a, on a declining track, but it's higher there. And the 